Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing and Sam forgot the bait. Oh, I did forget the bait. So we're about to go rock, paper, scissors to go see who's going to walk up the van. Then we're going to go check the crab pot and go ras fishing. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing. Woo! Oh yeah, boy! <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. How you feeling, Sam? <laughs> and what we're going to be using today is the Texas rig. When we get up to the spot, I'll show you the different lures that we're going to be using and how we set this up. It's very simple, but you can get some very good ras doing this. So hopefully the fish are here today. This right here, guys. This is the, the bottom section of what we call worm or rock worm. And this is only a tiny piece of its tail. I was trying to get the whole thing out, but I couldn't. And all you do to find these is you see the rock that are buried if you pull these rocks up sometimes you'll see a massive head some of them can be as thick as your finger and this is one killer bait so i'm just gonna have a little look around now we might use some of this today if the lures ain't working what we're using today guys very light rod as you can see really bendy because this is just a bit of fun fishing and i've got a seven gram little lead head there and then a size one weedless hook. You can use a size one O's as well, especially for the log worm. And this is what we're using today, the old gold lures. These have served us really well in the past. That's the log worm style. We usually get the bigger wrasse on these as well, eh mate? Yeah. And then you got the sand worm or rag worm imitation. Uh, we got the blood worm. All of these work as well. And then we got a few crabs and shrimps and stuff. But what we're going to do first is just stick a ragworm on to see if there's any little fish around because where there's the small ones there's usually a monster and how we like to rig them is you got the little bend of the hook there that straight bit just before the bend you get the head we like to go down about half an inch and you go in just to the bend of the hook pull it out and then you're going up and then round the curve where the eye of the hook is and there we go or you line it up like so and you're going straight through what i like to do with these is where the point is is just dig the point into the lure a little bit because that will pop through with, as a fish bites and then it doesn't get you snagged up in the weed so much and that's all we're doing really and hopefully we can get a nice big wrasse there's a little bit of swell today so i'm just going to try and jump my way along to the end here hopefully not get wet in the process <laughs> And all we're doing is just going to sink the lure straight to the bottom and then just hop it straight over the seabed really slowly and hopefully we get a nice bite. Fish on guys! <laughs> Look at that, first drop. Little green one there. Beautiful colours on these wrasse. And that's what they look like when they're really young. Oh. They turn green like this, and as they get older, they change more red and kelpy sort of colours. But hey, that's a good start. And what we're doing is a really slow retrieve. We're more just pulling it along the seabed. And you're waiting for a little, little tap on the rod tip, and then just let the fish eat it for a second. Because once it's in their garb and you can strike into it, and you've got a better chance of hooking up. Sam's got a slab, guys! Check that out! Yeah, boy! <laughs> hey, well done, mate. Cheers, mate! That's a cracker! He's a beast! Look at that! We'll get him in a rock pool, mate. Yeah. We'll get a better spot, guys, and we'll get you a better show. What a beast, mate! That's a cracker! Lovely fish, eh? I'll give you that, what, 4 2, I reckon? Yeah, that's got to be a four pounder. Lovely fish. Look, Look at that. On it. Beautiful colours on that. Nice belly on it as well. That's a cracking wrasse, Sam. That's the good thing about Texas rigging. It's such light tackle, eh? Yeah. You get a fight like hell they do. Oh, that's a beautiful wrasse, though. Good start. Oh, hey. <laughs> Taking a swim. <laughs> Lovely. There 
Sounds gonna hold the beast up. Check that out. Come around this way a bit, mate. There you go. Now you can see the real size of that, guys. That's a beautiful wrasse. Lovely, yeah. That's a stunner. Look at the tail on that. The size of that. Look at the mouth that, on it. That's a beauty, mate. They got some big old teeth, these fish, as well. <laughs> it's a lovely job. We're gonna get a few pictures for Saturn's Instagram. And then we're gonna uh, get this bad boy released, eh, mate? Hell yeah. Lovely fish. What a cracker. Sam's gonna get this beast released. Is that right in the gully here, is it? Yeah, mate, right at the edge of the Oh, nice. Oh, watch out for that, mate. You don't wanna end up in there. Check that out. What a beautiful fish, mate. Lovely, eh? Yeah, you can't beat the wrasse fight. They just go mad. They just go straight for the bottom. There you go, another lovely shy. Go on then, mate. That's gonna be go gone, on, mate. Away. Beautiful. Well done, mate. Give me hey. some skin. Let's get some more. The shot on, guys. <laughs> the old ratty boy still here. <laughs> nice little brow on that. You see, they all come in different sort of colours. It's not a bad ras at all, that one. They're such good sport when you're using light tackle. They don't have fight. That's a lovely little brown one there. Beaut beautiful. <laughs> Straight back down. Oh, it's taking me right in there. No. It's taking me in the weeds, guys. Come on. Yeah, boy. <laughs> there we go. The good old log worm strikes again. It's a nice size wrasse there. Oh. Lovely colours on these fish. Absolutely beautiful. Can't beat the old Texas rig either. The, uh, it's my definitely the most favourite way of uh, fishing for wrasse. Just because of the light tackle. It's really fun to catch them. Straight back down they go. We're going to pop off to the crab pot now. Good little start that, eh? Yeah, it was, mate. Really We've had good. constant bites, loads of little fish there, and Sam had that slab. And hopefully, in the other spot, we can get a few more. So we're going to go to the crab pot, fingers crossed for a Larry Lobster, and then we're back fishing, baby. Oh. What? Yeah, boy. The lobster. We got a keeper. I'm trying. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting excited. That's a keeper. Yeah, boy! Oh, hell! Check that bad boy out! We get it! We get the rope on tied! Get you a better show! We got tea tonight, baby! There we go, guys! One small shanker there! Definitely not size! Really hard shankers we're finding around here, eh? Yeah! That goes back! Check this bad boy out. That's a cracking size lobster. Beautiful. Look at the claws on it. Hell yeah, we're gonna get this baited up and we'll get you a better show with this bad boy. I think it's always worth saying, if you're baiting up a crab pot, guys, make sure your bait's right next to the entrance of the, uh, of the crab pot not on the side here where the crowds can get through the net just here at the top as you can see we've got a big pond and it's leaning against the side of the neck so the lobsters and crowds have to come up and over and straight in and hopefully in the future we get a few more beef this crab pot must weigh about 35 kilos now oh, for sure now it's wet because we got so much leaded rope on the bottom and we uh we've got two extra sash weights in there as well it really pins it down because when you've got them in gullies and reefs like this, uh, if there's ever a storm, the, the pot can get smashed to pieces. So the heavier, the better, really. Just showing you guys the legal size limit for a lobster is 87 millimeters and uh, we didn't bring a gauge with us today so i've just got a tape measure and from the back of the eye socket to the back of the carapace here you can see this one's 96 
So this one's about 10 millimeters over the legal size limit. Beautiful. Because we're gonna be fishing for the next few minutes, it's always a good idea to get some really wet seaweed and just put it over the lobster and that will keep it alive for a very long time. Just get it underneath it as well. A big old cormorant there. Coming to show us where all the fish are, buddy. <laughs> Can't usually get this close to there. <laughs> and he's off. Found a lovely little sheltered spot here, guys. We're just mooching our way straight through the bootlace weed. Because that's usually where all the big ones are hiding out, eh, mate? Yeah. Nice to see one, that's for sure. It'd be fun if we hook a big one here. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to pull them out of the weeds. That'd be a nightmare. Sam's just popping off quick. And uh, I'm going to continue to rasp fish for a little bit. And when he gets back, he's going to bring some garlic butter. Uh, we forgot the ingredients, so... Sam will grab the barbecue, the garlic butter, and then we're ready to go. And hopefully in the meantime, we can catch some fish. I got a big fish on, guys. Come on, this was on the red blood worm. <laughs> Come on, don't go in there. Oh. <laughs> I love the scrap these things give up. Oh, that's mental. I should be able to swing him in. Yeah, boy. Hell yeah. I'll just get the tripod and I'll get you a better show, guys. Good thing about these weedless hooks is they hook them really good in the side of the lip. There you go, another lovely sized wrasse there. See the scrap it gives them, this light gear, it's amazing. And that was on the blood worm. So I was trying the ragworm, but I was getting no bites, so I switched up and bam, nailed it straight away. What a beauty. Cracking size wrasse, this one. There we go. Nice colours. Let's try not to get in fashion a bit. <laughs> there we go, we're near the water now. What a cracking wrasse. I love the colours, the oranges, the yellows, the browns, greens. And he's off. Woohoo! Good old Sammy boy is back. And he's got the fresh ingredients. Hell yeah. So we're going to sit down for a minute. We're going to get everything ready and start cooking. What we got here guys we just chopped some garlic and crushed it up a little bit and uh, we made a little a little saucepan basically out of tin foil we're gonna get that in there and we're gonna get some butter in there and what we're gonna do is melt the garlic butter so it's all nice and juicy and then with the lobster we're gonna prep it and then put the uh, juices over the lobster after so then we get a nice garlicky flavor straight through it Got big old Larry here. He's just sitting in the rock pool, <laughs> ready to go. You can see how lively it stays when you keep the seaweed on it. And how we like to kill them, they've got a cross on the top of the head here. Like we've shown in previous videos, try not to get pinched. <laughs> Make sure you lock your knife as well. You go straight down, and then straight out towards the head. I freshly sharpened my knife today, so that was quick. And that's the lobster completely dead now. And that's just, that's just nerves moving. So what we're gonna do is cut straight down the lobster. Beautiful. We don't like all the head meat. So we discard that. And that is gonna go straight on the barbie as soon as the coals go down. There we go, our coals have died down a little bit now, guys. So what we're gonna do is put the lobster on shell first so we don't burn the meat. Get the claws on, just like so. I'm gonna leave that till it's all ready and firmed up, then we'll get our juices on, yum.
Lobster's looking pretty well cooked underneath there. So we're going to flip it over this side. Not for too long though. We don't want to burn this meat. Get her over. There we go. Oh, that's hot. Beautiful. <laughs> Looking forward to this, mate, you? Hell yeah. Yum. Good thing to note, guys. We've uh, cracked the claws on this. So then we can get the rest. Another load of garlic juice. And we're going to get a second dose on the meat. And then we want some in those claws as well. So we're going to load her up full of it. Lots of garlic butter, baby. Yum. Fresh lobster, check that out guys. It's really hot. <laughs> Beautiful. There you go mate. You can have the big claw since I've been winning lately. Thank you. <laughs> Very kind. Happy days. We've cracked the claws as well, so we don't need a stone. <laughs> oh, stop. Ooh. Watch out, it's hot. Yum. Look at that fresh lobster meat while we're fishing. Mm. Really into barbecue and things at the moment. It goes well, eh? Yeah, it gives it that smoky flavour, eh? Mm. Oh, it's delicious. We would do a lobster. <laughs> oh, look at that. Just falls apart, this lobster. Nice, white, juicy meat. Covered in garlic butter. Quite full lobster as well. Delicious. Mm. As always, we could have done with one each. Definitely. Yeah. It's got a really strong barbecue taste. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the smokiness. I, really I think because like we put the garlic butter over and then flipped it over, like the garlic juice went through it mm -hmm. with the steam. Mm. Can't beat fresh lobster. This is the whole idea of us putting the crab pot out. It was just when we're fishing out and about, we could come out and hopefully enjoy a bit of lobster now and again. <laughs> Until the big foraging tides, eh, mate? Mm. Mm. You're right, though, that smoky flavour. Oh, it's to die for. It's amazing. Mm. We need to do more lobsters on the barbecue, I think. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, next time in the, the lobster pot, we have two. Fingers crossed. Or even a big huss or something. That'd be nice. Catch and cook huss would be good. Definitely. Oh, excuse me. Yum. Look at all the little twinkles moving around. Mm. Happy days. So I won't leave you any longer, guys. We're rambling now. <laughs> We've demolished the lobster within a minute, so that's not bad. Yeah. Hopefully, next time we get two. If you want to check out Sam's Instagram, the link's always in the description. If you like my channel, like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more to come. It's smash fishing. Woo! Always very important. With your barbecues and that, just chuck them in the water. Make sure they're cold and take them up the beach in the bin. It's not something you want to leave around. See you on the next one, guys.